so I am going to review these brushes and they came in really fast I was not expecting them to come in already they did the bag the bags all right it's really soft on the inside the outside's just kind of stiff um, I had a brief look at the brushes but I haven't like fully taken them out yet and looked at them so these are the brushes they feel pretty good this one's quite heavy um, some of them are protected and I guess the smaller ones are not I do wish that they had um, writing on the handle for what it's supposed to be instead it just has the logo the bristles themselves this feels nice and stiff I like fairly stiff brushes I don't like brushes that are too soft because even though I feather out my makeup it just doesn't I don't know it just doesn't feel right um, on the Amazon ad though the uh, listing it does tell you what each brush is supposed to be used for so there's that so these these brushes that were covered up are very soft now I will admit I don't know what to do with half the brushes because I don't actually use many brushes myself. I like to use my fingers and I don't, you know, I don't use contouring and I don't feather out my makeup. Like I don't um, fade my eyeshadow. I just smear everything. So I'm not sure. Some of you guys might know what these are for. I'll have to look on the ad and see what they list each thing as. The ones I'm most interested in are probably these ones. I can use this, especially this one here. This will probably be my go-to because this is the right size and shape for my eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is really the only thing that I use. Um, if I did eyebrows, these ones would be good for my eyebrows. And uh, this one especially. This would be good for eyeshadow as well. But yeah, um, I will... Oop, that's not good. I don't like that. That's a mark off. That's like dollar store stuff. That shouldn't happen. But I'm going to go and check and then I will use these when I apply my makeup next and let you know how it is. Hey you guys, excuse my makeup list face, but I'm going to review these brushes. Uh, like I said in my intro, I'm not too great at knowing um, how to use brushes or what they're for, so I'm not even going to lie, I don't really know what to do. Um, it looks like I wear a lot of makeup, but in reality, I, the, what I do nowadays is I just use powder, eyeshadow, eyeliner and mascara and then a lip stain for my lips so I'm just gonna use what brush feels right and kind of apply it so that you can see now I will say these brushes are way better than I expected them to be they are kind of loose like they're not tightly packed um, I would expect them to be a bit firmer to give you better coverage but it seems to work pretty well like I like the shape of this one because it's got that little concave I don't know so I use this for my powder I I'm gonna use this to blend some um, eyeshadow I'm gonna use this to put on heavier eyeshadow I'm going to use this to put on heavier eyeshadow and I'm going to use this one for um, heavier eyeshadow <laughs> so let's see I'm not gonna use these because again I don't know what these are for but I do want to say that these brushes are better than I thought they would be. I am pleasantly surprised and knew that I had to do a review so that you guys could see them working. So uh, I don't have a lot of light here because my ring light actually isn't on. It's not working because it's a USB and I don't have a USB near me. So hopefully you guys can see enough and see I'm just gonna put on my makeup as I do and hopefully it'll be enough for you guys to see the brushes in action and if not 
at least take my word for it, these brushes are really good. Let's see. And the price is right as well, you know, they're pretty cheap. Um, there hasn't been any fallout, like I haven't seen any bristles come loose, soft enough to get under and around your eyes. So, I mean, you could still see, like right here, my bad skin, because I, I'm not wearing foundation. It's too hot anyway to wear foundation because I'll just sweat right through it and I'll just turn into a greasy, gross mess. So, um, I just like I've stopped wearing a lot of the makeup that I was wearing. Hey! Cat's clawing my bed. Alright, so I'm going to use this for the purple. My um, eyeshadow is kind of not doing too good. It's cracked. And then of course, you know, how well coverage you get also depends on the product you're using good of a coverage will depend on the product you're using. I think that's what I'm trying to say. So, it's so messy. I'm kind of using this to feather out. Instead of my fingers, I'm just feathering this out. And all I'm doing is I'm rolling the brush in the eyeshadow and it is picking it up beautifully. Normally I use my fingers for this, but I found that this brush actually works really well. And it works obviously far better than my fingers do. So it gives me that messy look that I love so much without um, me having to get my fingers dirty. this brush here for my black. So this one takes a little bit more effort to pick up the color because I like it right down to my lash line. since I'm using the same color and use that one. I'm gonna reverse it now. I'm gonna use this first on this side. I think I normally use this one first. I don't know why I grabbed the other brush. See, I can line my eye much better like that. But I still like it 
really messy and covering my entire eyelid. It is very hot in here. I'm already sweating. It sucks. Okay. Now I will use my eyeliner. This is the best liner, you guys. Uh, this is Wet n Wild Breakup Proof, and this stuff lasts through everything. Like, it does not come off. I can go to sleep and wake up and still have eyeliner on. And then to give that a little bit of time to dry, I will just use my mascara. This is also breakup proof. Um, usually I use L'Oreal Luminous, but this is a good, um, cheaper choice. It doesn't make your lashes as long, but it's kind of like a like thickening. And of course it's waterproof. done and it's been not quite 10 minutes <laughs> my makeup is messy but it does not take me long and I know a lot of people don't prefer panda eyes or dead panda eyes or whatever my eyes are considered but I do uh, I just feel so gross and naked if I do my makeup any differently any cleaner around the eyes this is what I use for my lip stain it's a uh, syrup kiss by Hard Candy. It smells so good and it is so beautiful. And for a stain, it is so pigmented as well. <laughs> they used to sell this at Walmart and they don't anymore. I don't know why. So that's that. About 10 minutes and I'm finished. Um, so I don't. I saw my green hair there. I don't. Um, use brushes for a lot of things so it's really hard for me to give a good full review of brushes because I don't know how to use them I don't know what they're for and I don't use them generally um, for a lot of stuff I mean I use them for powder but like I said for the powder it works really well for the eyeshadow it works really well um, it just I, I was really surprised I didn't think that they would work as good as they do. So I would have to say I do highly recommend these brushes. Again, I've had no fallout. I've had no issues with um, 
that one brush that was kind of splayed. There's been no problems with that at all. It comes in this nice little carrying case, and you do get quite a few brushes. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You get fifteen brushes, so that's not bad. And if you know how to use makeup, like ninety percent of other women do, and men too, then I would say definitely check these out. I guess that's all for now. I will see you guys later. Bye.